And this just in, Ambry lost a tooth. You might get pesos from the tooth fairy. <laughs> oh, look, you jumped over her. I'm so sorry, I can't even get the words out. I lost my son several years ago when he was this age and he looked just like your boy. Oh, it was so, so sad. sad, I just like gave the guy a hug and, and I And then I they took, took a picture, picture and they were both. All right, good morning. We got some room service going for the kiddos. All right, guys, what do you want to do today? Boogie board. Boogie board. Beach. Whoa, Ender. Let me hear your voice again. Boogie bait. Oh, I thought you were sound. You were yawning when you talked. My key sounds different. Got a couple kids with a little cold. But when you're on vacation, just party anyway, I guess. Um, like Davey worked out like an animal for like an hour and a half. Um, He's getting all muscly. I'm strong enough to feed a baby. Strong enough to feed a baby. It's working. <laughs> I love that we have the option of room service and we don't have to feel like, oh, I don't know if we want to pay for it. It's just like, whatever, we want to go down. It's all the same. I'm telling you, 100% takes all the stress out of it to let the kids just order what they want, wherever they want, when they want. The magic wristbands. I love it. Got a nipple left. He always gets to that far and then he like gives up. Yeah, burping. Oh. Um, guys, yeah, Hard Rock Hotel. Thanks again to them for inviting us down here. Um, we love it. If you guys want information, we're gonna have a link in the description. You guys can check it out. There's a lot of different options here, but highly recommend it. It's just, it's a worry-free, it's fun. There's stuff to do all the time. There's shows. Even if the only thing we did every day, all day was the beach, the kids are just thrilled. Like, that awesome but there's so there. much more than that. <laughs> and there's, there's lifeguards out there making sure everybody's being safe and there's just, Everything, yeah, if all we had was quick access to the beach, that's enough, but we don't have to worry about food, drinks, just You everything. can even have them bring you drinks on the beach. Like, it's just, I'm telling you guys, it's so much fun. They treat you like royalty. It's awesome. It's just, it's amazing. And we may or may not have had a little bit too much fun in the bathtub, <laughs> because there is not any hot tubs down by the pool area. But every single bedroom has uh, a hot tub in these rooms. Down there, but You're like, that. move your silly parties to your room. So, and it was so much fun. And yeah, we totally could fit four adults in there. No problem. That makes sense. I was kind of mad there was no hot tubs down there, but I'm like, how do I Why want do a hot tub one? with a bunch of strangers? Let's just have one in each of our rooms. Like, yeah. that's awesome. And the kids had their, the kids' hot tub over there. We had our hot tub here. So much fun. And this just in, Ambry lost a tooth. Did you know you had a loose one? Yes, of Where course is it? Let me see. What? Oh my goodness. Congratulations. You might get pesos from the tooth fairy. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be weird. I won't be able to spend that at home. Okay guys, as soon as April gets done working out, it is beach day. Beach day all day. Fun in the sun. Okay, beach run. April, where's Jason? Jason, he's making it. It's fine. Doesn't matter. We're all out here moving. It's all that matters. I'm just worried about your equipment with your dancing. <laughs> okay, we made it. We made it beach side, pool side. Ender and EB, they got their life jackets on. We're having a little bit of a some health issues, some, there's some colds going around. Possible strep throat. Ambry thought she had it, but it was a negative. Now who is it, Bentley? Now we're testing Bentley. If, if it's a positive, we might be heading to a Mexican pharmacy to get some antibiotics. And then I broke my sunglasses. And if that's not that's enough. enough. Here's the real tragedy today. Okay, they still work. The sunglasses. Oh my gosh, I'm raising a nightmare. Help me. When I travel, I always bring these. I bought them off Amazon. They are strep test kits, and I've become kind of a pro at them. And then at least you know whether or not you need to go seek out antibiotics in a foreign country. <laughs> so here we go. Bentley's throat's been hurting. We're gonna test. We're gonna, oh, moment of truth. And then we wait five minutes. Okay, you see the line going up? 
Verdict is in. It's just a virus. So go and play. <laughs> Spread the virus, not the bacteria. No. Everything's okay because we're on vacation and like there's been a cold running through. This is the same perfume I wear. Is it? Yeah, I didn't bring it. It's my favorite. I gotta have this. Um, that kind though, because there's three kinds. I love there's all of three. them. Yeah. I have all of them. See that again. Two, three. That's amazing. One, two, one, two. Okay, we just got back from a fun day, fun afternoon at the beach. We have some couples massages planned. We're gonna go take care of that. They have a great spa here. And Frankie Noodle, you don't get to come. He's gonna Zade's feed gonna you. Watch him. Zade's gonna hang out with you. You just keep sucking. He's such a good cell self soother. He's just sucking on his wrist there. <laughs> in trouble or something but he had he, Ender was with him Ender seemed fine but he was just like he couldn't even get words out and he was, was crying like, I, yeah I didn't know. at first I didn't know he was crying I thought that he was like mad I'm like well what did our kid do did he splash it and Ender had been go gone playing for a little while but then he pulls me aside he's like uh, can you take a picture and he's like I'll, I'll explain in a minute and he was just trying to gather up his words and he goes, I'm so sorry I can't even get the words out I lost my son several years ago when he was this age and he looked just like your boy. Yeah, like, and then afterwards exactly like he him. told me that he would have been 30. He's like, now. he would be 30 right now. So he lost him like 27 years so ago. So he and was he says, like a little boy when he lost I him. I saw him and I stopped dead in my tracks because he looked exactly like And then he this. said, he's like, and I've been staring at him since and I just can't stop thinking about my little boy that I lost. And I'm like, oh. It was so, so sad. sad. I just like gave the guy a hug. And, I, and then I they took, took a picture, picture and they were both smiling and thumbs up. And, and they, I was just like. Like oh. Ender actually did look like the guy. Like they oh, had yeah. similar faces. And I know with. Like, it's actually happened before. This happened once with Ambry when she was four years old. We were in Walmart and a couple, it was a wife and a husband. Yeah. The second they saw her, they were both just like, <gasps> stopped dead in their tracks and started crying. And they said, I'm so sorry. Can we just look at your daughter? And same thing, they had lost their little girl and they pulled up a picture on their phone and showed Davey me and her. you. Davey was with me. Weren't you with me? Yeah, yeah I remember. We both. Like it literally was clone. Like, and I think it's because these redheads have like the recessive gene and when it comes out, it's really strong and they all like look really similar. But like well, every once in a while, even on the beach when we were running this morning, we saw a little girl playing in the waves and it looked, it like looked Ambry. exactly like, like Avery, same Ambry. size, same color of hair. Look, Davey said to her, he goes, Avery, how did you get out of the room? We knew it wasn't her, so we were her. laughing, but like, 
everyone with us was just laughing because they were like, oh yeah, it totally looks exactly like I think, you know, I mean, there's this recessive gene, but I think maybe Heavenly Father, maybe we cross paths for a reason sometimes. Like maybe these it people that lost a child, day, like he lost him 27 years ago and he was just It brought like, him right back to that moment. You could tell right he was just like, he was in my tears. Like he, he was this probably like 70 year old guy. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. But I was like, I'm glad. I'm glad that he we was brave enough right to take now, a picture. And, and he wasn't, he wasn't disrespectful. He didn't want to like, that's weird to like take a picture with someone else's kids without permission. So he made sure like, that I wanted he to find to your parents first, and ask you if it's okay. So I grabbed his phone and took a picture. I and thought stuff, it was sweet. This is just a fun, fun little no thing. No child or no parent should have to bury their child ever. It's just heartbreaking. Like, I can't okay. even imagine how hard that would be. I know. And I would do the same thing if that happened to I me. Know. I probably would if it's I saw someone that looked so hard. exactly like my baby. So that was just a cool thing that happened this morning. It was a really fun day. We're going to end the vlog now, but um, I just want to share <sighs> that story with you guys. It was good pretty day. cool. Yeah. Find good in everything, you guys. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again to Hard Rock Hotel Cancun for having us here. And once again, best time ever. This is seriously such an amazing family vacation. It's great. We've decided so this awesome. is our favorite. The, you can't beat the beach you all day. You cannot beat it. So and fun, the, like, all inclusive. The food and beach. They take care of you. It's awesome. Um, we got one more full day here tomorrow. We'll have some fun. Then we're headed back to Utah. So thanks they're for watching. They're eating room service in there. Yeah, they're kind of cleaning <laughs> up and taking care of things. Okay, we'll get these kids in bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow.